Hi, I'm Terry Smoljanic. We've all seen ads like this in magazines like Parade telling you about a great new collection you might want to start, in this case some lovely University of Florida snow globe ornaments for your Christmas tree. And it says right across the top, your first ornament is free, and if you read it, it says there's no obligation to buy any more. So what could possibly go wrong? You've just got to have one of these lovely trinkets. So you say fine, you send off for it, and what comes in the mail? A box and it's got a little shipping label on the top and you open it up and lo and behold there's your lovely University of Florida snow globe trinket and if you shake it it snows isn't that lovely well when you look at the outside there's nothing else in the box when you look at the outside you see a shipping label well you think well that's just a shipping label but if you open it up and it's actually an envelope if you open it up and look inside what you see is the shipping label and the first thing it says is it's two dollars and ninety-five cents shipping and handling so that's not exactly free you say, oh, well, okay, $2.95, that's not too bad. And if you read it carefully, however, down here in very tiny print, it says, first ornament in your collection, see next page. But if you look at the second page, oh, yeah, there's from the Danbury Mint, and it says, congratulations on your snow globe, and you're going to really love it. Uh, thank you very much. And you think, oh, okay, fine, you throw it away. I, that's, that's nice. Ah, uh, you just made a big mistake, because if you keep reading down past the thank you very much, all the way to the very bottom, what do you see? Oh, suddenly it says, if you do not want to receive future items in this collection, all you need to do is return this card in the envelope provided. So there is an obligation. If you just throw it away, you're going to suddenly find yourself receiving in the mail every two weeks one of these trinkets, and you're going to be billed almost $20 for each trinket. That's $40 a month. And by the time Christmas rolls around, you will have spent over $300 to have 16 of these little trinkets here. You're, you will be up to your eyeballs in snow globes. And that's what happens if you just throw this thing away. What this is, the FTC calls a continuity plan. That means that if you don't do anything, if you simply threw this piece of paper away thinking, well, there's no obligation, what's going to happen is you're going to keep getting these boxes in the mail until you have more snow globes than you could ever deal with. Now, the FTC says you can mark it like this uh, out there, but you have to follow certain rules, the most important being telling you what your obligation actually is uh, has to be clear and conspicuous. Now, do, I, do you think that looking, following this little paper trail and getting to the very bottom of this second page is clear and conspicuous of telling you what your obligation is? I don't think so. I think it's sneaky. The lesson here is if you really just got to have one of these trinkets here, if you've really got to have it, uh, then carefully read everything that's in the ad, carefully read every piece of paper that you get to understand exactly what your obligations are. And, uh, if, and if you don't like it, send it back. Uh, and if you do want to keep it, keep all your paperwork so you will always be able to prove exactly what you agreed to and what you didn't agree to. And if you ever have a problem, uh, complain to the company, and if they won't solve your problem, go to the FTC because the FTC might be able to help you. Thank you. This is Terry Smoyanis of the Consumer Warning Network.